in the midst of the many myths and fictions surrounding the famous cruise liner and her ill-fated maiden voyage, here are 10 facts about the Titanic. Number 10. When the Titanic entered service in 1912, it was the largest ship afloat. 269.1 meter long and 53.3 meter high, it must have seemed like a floating city. Number 9. Only three of Titanic's four funnels were functional, the fourth was a dummy installed because it made the ship look more beautiful and was made into a ventilation shaft for the kitchen. Imagine you are the Titanic's designer. Which looks better? three or four funnels. Number 8. The interior of the Titanic was modeled after the Ritz Hotel, with first-class cabins finished in the Empire style. Aiming to convey the aura of a floating hotel, it was intended for passengers to forget they were on board a ship and feel as though they were in a hall of a great house on the shore. Number 7. John Jacob Astor IV was the wealthiest man aboard. The heir of the Astor family fortune was by far the richest individual on the ship, worth an estimated $85 million at the time, or about $2 billion today. He perished along with the ship. Number 6. When the Titanic began sending out distress signals, to the Californian, rather than the Carpathia, which was the closest ship. Californian was unaware of any distress signals from the Titanic until the morning. By then, the Carpathia had already picked up all of the survivors. Number 5. One of the facts about the Titanic is that many of the ship's passengers are sadly unknown. Although the official number of the dead on the Titanic was 1,503, over 100 unidentified bodies were buried in Fairview Lawn Cemetery in Halifax. Number 4. During the 26-month construction of the Titanic 28 serious accidents and 218 minor accidents were recorded. Eight workers were killed. They were killed by injuries sustained from falling either from the ship or the staging surrounding it. Number 3. The Titanic wreck lies 3,700 meters below the surface of the Atlantic. It was not discovered until 1985, 73 years after it sank. The task of finding the Titanic was included in a military operation to survey the remains of some nuclear submarines. The separated bow and stern are around a third of a mile apart debris from the ship covers an area of 15 square miles. Number 2. The violin played by Wallace Hartley was thought to have been lost in the sinking, but in 2006, a woman found it in her attic. After seven years of testing, researchers determined that it was, in fact, the actual violin upon which Hartley played. In 2013 it was sold for $1.4 million. Number 1. In 1898, Fourteen years before the Titanic sank, American author Morgan Robertson wrote a novella titled The Wreck of the Titan. The book was about a fictional ocean liner that sinks due to a collision with an iceberg. In the book, the ship is described as being unsinkable and doesn't have enough lifeboats for everyone on board. Sound familiar? <laughs>